This is part two of Reiki. So stay tuned, folks. You're going to learn a lot. When you get initiated into Reiki, you are opening yourself up to the influence of all those who were initiated before you saints. There is some kind of energy portal which you get into upon your initiation and therefore you become open to all the cursed powers of Reiki and to all the influences connected with it and the previous initiates. Okay? It's just like Freemason. Okay, that's what a good example of it too or Scientology um, I think Freemasons would be a good one a better example but Reiki doesn't empower the client nor does it address the cause of illness Reiki doesn't destroy the root of the disease but only its manifestation since the cause isn't addressed it will come back again in one form or another the the clients that go to these Reiki masters end up learning nothing from such a temporary healing and is likely to spend more money on another temporary healing when the unaddressed cause manifests in another unwelcome form. Now Reiki transfers demons onto clients and Reiki practitioners not only are demonized themselves but they transfer those demons onto their clients who ignorantly open up fully to receive such a healing. Since the energy reaching their clients isn't pure as it transferred through Reiki symbols, the person gets the transmission of Reiki energies which aren't of God. According to my research about what happened to Reiki Master initiated by Hawaii Takata that's H A W A Y O last name T A K A T A no real successes are found one of the oldest Reiki masters started calling himself master of masters and now offers exorcism he's likely to be possessed which is again not a very good sign of a Reiki initiation also, strangely enough, I couldn't find any of his pictures. People don't understand that working for the kingdom of darkness isn't going to produce good fruit. In the Bible, we read that ye shall know them by their fruits. Works of God always produce good fruit. Works of evil produces evil fruits. Because demons hate humans, they make sure that at the end those humans are destroyed no matter how much they serve the demons. You can read about the reason why demons absolutely hate people in the book of Enoch. Though read only the first book in this series as it's the only one mentioned in the Bible. For all those who spent a lot of money or committed to Reiki in other big ways and thus don't want to believe in this information here's what I have to say it doesn't matter how much you invested in Reiki if it's evil stay away because your eternal salvation is at stake here knowing that this practice is not of God but continuing it due to an investment in such a practice is the worst thing you can do to your soul God forgive those who ignorantly do things wrong but those who know that what they do is evil but still continue with it fall into a totally different category of judgment. How do we know that healing is appropriate for the Christian to do, Bella? Well, I'm going to tell you. In 1 Corinthians 14.1, Paul tells us eagerly, desire spiritual gifts. In 1 Corinthians 12, 28, Paul says that healing is one of the gifts. Paul also says that each of the gifts is best expressed with love. Also, Jesus is quoted in John 14, 12 as saying, I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I go to the Father. We know that Jesus practiced laying on hands types healing. Therefore, it is scriptural for Christians to practice healing by laying on hands. 
What is the best way for a Christian to practice Reiki? There is no right way to practice Reiki. Okay? It is not of God. Okay? And anybody who's involved with this needs to stop. But um, in 2006, there were about 60 million Reikians. 19 million websites about various forms of Reiki. And today, in 2013, a Google search for Reiki returns 55 million results. Reiki masters invite people to be like Jesus by also becoming a Reiki master. Deceived Christians testify that Reiki worked and brought them closer to God. And many go into Reiki believing they will learn the same healing method as Jesus used by laying hands on people. But unfortunately... People do not realize that there is no biblical basis for Reiki by practicing it. They take themselves away from the cross and the healing blood of Jesus and put themselves under sin and more Old Testament demonic bondage than they bargained for, which results more and more into disobedience to God and legal grounds for the demonic spirits to torment these people. The Bible tells us how the spiritual world operates in the form of demonic to influence and to connect themselves with humans and the healing system of Reiki energy is a tool that Satan and his demons use mightily in this world these days. Now the Bible says clearly for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but people against principality against powers you know the spiritual demonic world and against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places and that's in ephesians 6 12. life force energy is known as chi in china ki in japan and prana in india it is also sometimes called universal energy and no matter what any teacher or practitioner tells you according to the bible this is divination also according to the bible and according to god divination is linked with sorcery enchantments and other practices and there are not just a few passages in the bible which make it clear that these things are abomination to god but many and here is just one and when they shall say unto you seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep and the mutter should not people seek unto their God and that's in Isaiah 8 19 the Bible forbids divination because it involves lusting for secret knowledge that God has not chosen to reveal the secret things belong to the Lord of God but the things revealed belong to us and to our sons forever that we may observe all words of this law now every Reiki master is free to start its own healing system mixing Reiki with well you name it like I said they just mix it all up and those are the basic demons of Reiki and their initiation rituals okay and now we had talked about that so you know Reikians need to repent and accept Jesus as their Lord they would normally be led into a renunciation repentance and acceptance and after that after they renounced everything and repented then the spirit should be rebuked it should be rebuked in the name of Jesus then asking the Holy Spirit ask to take their place and fill the person completely so that the kingdom of God comes upon them and before praying for deliverance or receiving deliverance from someone else the person should write all these names and terms down so during praying time it is easier to go through them casting them out you know one by one and renouncing each of them okay and it's just easier that way Reiki is classed as the occult and the occult is known to be very dangerous due to the extent of demon infestation it can cause legion will often be encountered in like Luke 8:30 when people were confronted with a lot of rituals or themselves were deeper into the occult practice which is logical as they are regrouping to have more impact now this demon has been encountered during deliverance after many Reikians have been sending Reiki by their symbol and rituals and meditation to a person or group usually to change or control a situation 
Like I said, the Bible is clear. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. Then he says, I will return into my home from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth its empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of the man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. And that's Matthew 12, 43 through 45. Now to learn Ricky, knowing that this practice is the practice of spiritualism is dangerous, okay? Because it masquerades in demonic forces who sometimes pretend to be departed spirits with the intent of deceiving through the power of Satan. So, Reiki is sinful. It is using Reiki spirits, fallen angels, demonic spirits. It is worshipping false demons, gods, and is in contradiction with God's word. And therefore is rebellious to God. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thus has rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. First Sam 15.23 Nowadays, the traditional Reiki changes constantly, mixing itself with more occult powers like witchcraft, false practices, and beliefs, various gurus, have embraced Reiki, adding some of their own teachings to it in order to sell their seminars and their name, making all the bank. And Reiki is mixing with esoteric white magic in the open and with black magic in the secret. Okay? And at the higher level, moves more and more towards Satanism. Reiki is a deception. The enemy, the enemy's deception is strong and seductive, like a seducing spirit, okay? And in monitoring it closely, one finds a lot of shallow copies of the work of the Holy Spirit and its manifestation like healing. However, Reiki is without redemption and salvation and clearly leads one astray from Jesus Christ and denies the work on the cross. An example of this is Reiki is sent to you from a distance. In the beginning, it feels like the Holy Spirit's working. But after some time, you have the notion that something isn't right. And you will feel the demonic present at work. But you repent of this and renounce it. The Lord will lead you, protect and shield you. And the main deception of Riki says that if all good things come from God and healing is good, then anything that heals must be golly. But Satan heals as well, and it has clearly been proven that Reiki is not of God, nor is it the healing method of Jesus, okay? It is blindness to the truth along with the love for whatever positive impact Reiki has had in their lives. When things go bad, Reiki is never suspected as having anything to do with it, but people are, are being deceived by it, okay? A false front. All right, so I hope you learn a lot about Reiki today and I've given you a lot to think about and I would suggest that you renounce Reiki repent repent and repent okay that would be my suggestion so we're gonna do a prayer for release from Reiki father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I confess that I have sinned against you and your word by learning and practicing Reiki I renounce and repent of my involvement in this and any involvement in the occult that I may have unknowingly entered into and I ask you to forgive me for my sin. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus I repent and renounce all levels of one Reiki attunement agreements to receive imprinting of occult symbols and spirit ceremonies. I reject all symbols, graphs, and geometry use to attune, align, or awake my emotion, health, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, I reject and renounce the use of any keys to open the higher mind, energy, pathways, or chakras. I renounce and reject all awakenings of my consciousness 
and all calls and prayers for this awakening. I reject and repent of any acceptance of the master symbol or any symbol for power and the opening of the third eye. In the mighty name of Jesus, I repent and renounce all level 2 Reiki attunements and spirit ceremonies. I repent, renounce, and cancel the following symbols that I have either received onto myself or have traced on another. I renounce the Chakuri symbol of power and the key or spiritual marker placed on me that opens the door to the spiritual realm and which summons demon assistance. I renounce the Sihiki, the guiding spirit symbol for the mind and emotions, the key to the universe and activates the opens the Kundalini. I renounce the Haun Zhao Zizhou Nin, the counting spirit symbol for distance and false claim to the inner Buddha, Christ divinity nature. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I repent and renounce all level three key attunement and spiritual ceremonies. I repent, renounce, and cancel the following symbols that I have either received unto myself or have traced on another. I renounce the Tamarasha symbol of balance and a blocking energy lines. I renounce the Daikomayo, the principal demon ruler symbol of the master and master rank that brings false enlightenment, peace, and acknowledgments through divination and that grant access to the soul and spirit of another. Father, I repent and renounce the use of all Riki spirits. Tayokri, the principal spirit, energy spirit, Raku fire dragon, Bar Jesus spirit, guide, legion, and personal life force demons, and the spirit of fear. I command these spirits and any other with them to come up and come out of me and go wherever the Lord sends them in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, please forgive me for being used as a Reiki channel. I repent and renounce all connections to Reiki and command all demonic spirits attached to me as a result of my involvement with Reiki to come up, come out of me, leave me now. I ask you, Father, to cleanse me and wash me, cleanse me in the precious blood of Jesus, remove all demonic spirits out of my mind, my body, my spirit in the name of your son Jesus Christ amen pray for God to send you someone to help or to lead you to the right place or people at the right time he knows what he needs and it is not always what and when we think it is he knows better than we do we need to learn to have faith in God to trust him because he does know more things than we realize so keep tuning to God through Jesus and pray in the name of Jesus. Do not rely on man, which the Bible tells us will put us under a curse due to the sinfulness that it is in everyone. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved in Acts 4.12. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, 1 Timothy 2.5. Be sure of your salvation then through personal faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and get baptized as soon as possible. We recommend to walk the path of faithful reborn Christian. Get yourself filled with the Holy Spirit. Stop any involvement with Reiki. Stop any occult healing practices and get rid of all objects in your possession association with it any um occult idolatrous beliefs and practices okay it's unholy soul it's, it's an unholy soul tie and it can provide a demonic doorway all right god bless you guys have a great day bye now <laughs>